Here to break down the legal aspects of this hazy case is attorney and Crime Watch Daily legal contributor Jesse Weber. Thanks as always, Jesse, for being here. Thank you for having me. A lot of the evidence here is circumstantial. We see a lot of convictions where there's strong circumstantial evidence. The problem in this case is you have two suspects, one victim, in the suspect's apartment. Their DNA, their clothing is already all going to be all over the apartment regardless. And then you have two people that know what happened, no other witnesses. So it's going to be he said, she said, who do you believe? The problem for Raul is those 11 stab wounds, particularly the stab wound in the back, the one that went seven inches into Mark's back. Who are you going to believe did this? Raul, who's a pretty strong guy, or Petite Taylor? It's going to look like Raul. Let's talk about Taylor's story here, or the lack thereof. Her story was bizarre. Her answers were bizarre. She provided a terrible performance to the police when they told her that Mark was dead. Meryl Streep would be very upset at her from looking at this. How did he die? What happened? But even despite all that, I could see why Raul was found guilty and was not acquitted. And the reason was because he didn't keep his mouth shut. Why do you think Taylor was not charged in this case? This evidence was so much more strong against Rule that he did the actual stabbing. I'm not surprised she wasn't charged for murder. I am a little surprised that she wasn't charged, at least as an accomplice, because as I said, her story was bizarre. Her answers didn't add up. She lied to the police initially about being alone in that apartment. So you could see maybe she was somehow aiding and abetting. Then again, it is about that mental state. Did she voluntarily and knowingly contribute to this crime? Did she aid in this crime? Or was she blacked out? I really think it should have been brought to a jury. She should have been charged and let them decide. A question of fact. Absolutely. Jesse Weber, as always, thank you for your insight into this case. For more on this story, you can go to our website, crimewatchdaily.com.